YouTube, what up, baby? It's your boy Skills. It literally took a FIFA game being leaked, FIFA 25 by NBA, or not NBA, but by 2K, getting leaked for EA Sports to go, you know what? It's time to get our stuff together, baby. It's time for us to start cooking. There is leaks of FC 25 coming out. And I gotta be honest with you, the things that they're adding, they look like a W. But first of all, there's a few things we gotta talk about before we jump into this. And I know I've been on my hater raid lately and really going at EA Sports and dropping video after video talking smack, but I gotta be honest with y'all lads. How are we not even in July? It is June 2024 and there is leaks happening of the new game. Let's talk about that. June, July. Well, let me let me get my June, July, August, September. June, July, August, September, October is usually when the new FC drops, right? Around October, the end of September. Lads, we're like four months away. And there is massive leaks coming out of the brand new game. Who at EA Sports Vancouver cannot keep their mouth closed? Every single promo, the cards are getting leaked. Matter of fact, this game, this EA game has gone to sh trash since leaks started happening. And I, I listen, I love my leakers. No disrespect to them. Everybody got to eat. Yo, y'all eat and eat, baby. Eat, get your bread, get your money, get your bags. But the truth is, lads, how is so much getting leaked? It doesn't make sense to me. How is so many different things getting leaked from promos to the new game to... Anyways, I want to show y'all some things real quick. Remember, the, the news came out that FIFA 25 was going to be made or FIFA 26 was going to be made by NBA 2K, aka 2K. And they announced that there would probably be an open world and so many things got leaked that there'll be an open world where you could play my players and, well, guess what, lads? We now go to FC 25, where, shout out to the homie right here, uh, uh, F FGZ, for linking some news here. Uh, new features coming to Ultimate Team, all right? The first one is a 5v5 mode, Volta inspired, okay? Now this is within the Ultimate Team feature. This is in Ultimate Team. Suppose there's going to be a mode where it's four on four and then an AI goalie. Now, what instantly comes to my mind is when it's an ultimate team, and I don't know, I can't really spit on what is exactly, but what comes to my mind, it most likely is going to be that you can use one of your cards that you pack. EA's going to keep it. <laughs> EA's going to keep it, you know what I'm saying? They're going to make sure that you still got to do an SBC or get your packs up or get your, you know, get your, you got to get your money up before you get your funny up, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to be able to most likely use one of your cards within that mode with your friends all right so let's say i don't know if it's actually a 5v i guess it's a 5v5 i think it's each person's controlling someone the goalie's controlled by the ai which means if you have the big ronaldo because you pack team of the year ronaldo you can go into the game with ronaldo and your friends can go into a card that they own on their account that's what i'm assuming that way ea sports is keeping it within ultimate team because i told you guys this multiple times the reason we haven't had an online career mode yet is because ea doesn't want to affect their ultimate team sales the reason why we don't have a my player done properly is because ea wants to keep people on ultimate team for packs for sales ea doesn't want to move people away from ultimate team me and you know this it's facts it's straight facts ea's not going to deny this it's why they don't fix career mode often that's why i don't fix clubs often they want their most popular mode to be ultimate team because that's where the money is okay we get it now with that being said they're going to do this 5v5 mode within within ultimate team is what i'm understanding based off what i'm seeing so First of all, I'm not going to knock it before we try it. I'm excited for it. I think it could be a really fun mode. I'm not going to be the first one. To blah, 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 blah. Listen, I'm all for 5v5s, 4v4s, 3v3s. If I can play with my friends, I'm happy. You know, the most fun I've ever had playing games was mo mo clubs back in FIFA 11 and 10 and 13 and, and 12 because it was me and my homies on, on a mic having fun, bro. Like, that's the best part about gaming is going in and hanging out with your friends and having some fun. Whether you're playing Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever, it's the interaction with you and your friends. So I'm already down for this mode 100%. There's more leaks. New manager preset custom tactics. This already scares me. I know I'm on my hater aid, but let's get talking, bro. Custom tactics is tr it's just trash, man. Like people don't understand. The more you add to these custom tactics and park the bus and, and, and it's just custom tactics is low key ruining the game. You know what I'm saying? EA doesn't understand that. They don't get it. That like nobody wants to play every time like they're playing a pro player and act like they're pro players. Custom tactics low key need to be brought down a little bit. Imagine a weekend league with no custom tactics, everything on balance, you versus your opponent, whoever's better wins straight up balanced tactics. Like that would be crazy, right? But EA insists on custom tactics. So there's gonna be a new manager preset custom tactics. There's gonna be a new corner system, which in my opinion already just, I don't know, that scares me. That means like back post corner is probably gonna go crazy, but hopefully they get that right. 
Um, there's going to be a, uh, a, a, a tunnel pack animation, which is nice. The tunnel pack animation back from like FIFA 20, I think it was, was absolutely beautiful. I liked that animation a lot. I liked when you went down the tunnel. It was really cool in my opinion. We're going to move on to where their player instructions in game changing. Wait, player instructions in game changings. Change. I, listen, I, I actually don't. I might be hella stupid, but I don't know exactly what that means. I guess the instructions are going to be different. You can, we already have instructions. I guess you're going to be able to do, they're changing the way that the instructions are. Squad menu revamping. That's nice. Squad menu is kind of whatever. I hope they make it look a little bit better. Manual through balls. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> So I guess I guess the way they're nerfing through balls is by making a manual. Um, is that over the top through balls? Is that everything? Is that all like wow, they they are really making this game like levels, levels, levels to score and a goal. I guess through have y'all noticed that everything offensive gets nerfed and nothing defensive gets have y'all noticed that? They had they don't they don't nerf like AI anyways. We we move, we move, we move, we move. It's okay, it's all good. Um Certain fullbacks can come back with false, false backs midfield. So I guess fullbacks can become, I don't know, I guess there's a whole new thing happening there as well. All this got leaked by the news. Um, you go down here. Uh, what's this? This is FC25 stuff. Here we go. FC25 Pro Clubs will receive new leveling system in EA FC25 Total Ramps. New levels. Uh, okay, that's some stuff happening at Pro Clubs. Breaking News Pro Clubs will feature a new game mode. Wait, Pro Clubs will will feature a new game mode inside of EA FC25. Want name one to watch. What do you think this will be about? That's cool. Listen, they're doing stuff to Pro Clubs. I like that. Um, huge FC Pro Club coming soon. Um, and so he talked about that there. So listen, I am excited for the things we're reading. Okay. I don't know about the manual through balls. That's kind of low key weird. I don't know what that means. I guess they're just going to nerf more a offense. Listen, I think defensive stuff need to be nerfed more than offensive stuff, but that's fine. It is what it is. Excited. Excited is the word that I bring to you today because it seems to me that EA is putting in a little bit of work and I think they have to. There's going to be a lot of competition. You've seen the the U, the U, the UFL game, I think it's called. There's a, another game called Goals or something like that. And then there's going to be FIFA 2K coming out as well. You have three football games. That's not including EA's game. So four football games potentially to be on the market very soon. And I've also seen this fifth game where it's kind of like you, you build a club like with stadiums and maybe I can make a video on that. But there's a new game where it's kind of like it's kind of like one of those like you ever seen like one of those ones where it's like, you know, I think based off what I saw, the pictures I saw, it's kind of like, you know, one of those games where like you build an amusement park type thing and then you build the amusement park up and then. It kind of tells you if you have like the flow of people correctly. I don't know if you ever seen that. Like you build a city and stuff. You guys, SimCity, I think it was called. I think there's going to be one like like that for, for a, a football club, um, which is kind of lit. So that's another football game, a little bit different, but that's another. So five football games. So when EA sees this, I think that they think to themselves, yo, we have to step it up a little bit. And it seems like they're stepping it up a little bit. You know, a 5v5 mode is very, very dope. It's something that even if it is with, within Ultimate Team and you're not playing with your my player, unless they allow my players into Ultimate Team. Now, my players in Ultimate team was a thing if you guys don't know the first year of ultimate team you could use your my player in ultimate team so it was you maybe striker messi and ronaldo were on the wings and it had wayne rooney and you were your player you're like you could make your player a center back a left back a right back you were in the game and you played with your ultimate team and it was actually really cool i ain't gonna lie to you so at the end of the day um, it was very cool to see that. So maybe they're going to bring that back within Ultimate Team and maybe through like opening packs, you upgrade your player. I don't know. I mean, that's a whole nother conversation, but seems to me like that's the route it's going or you're going to just use a card that you've packed. So if you have a Vieira on your team that you the SBC, maybe you can be Vieira, your friend could be Messi, your other friend could be Ronaldo and your other friend could be, uh, you know, uh, Harry Maguire. And uh, there's your four. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Probably not going to be one midfielder, two strikers and a center back, but and then someone's in AI is the goal. Um, so it seems to me like that's what the mode is going to be about. But these leaks are cool, man. I don't really care about the new corner system. I don't really care about the manager preset custom tactics, although that could be really good, you know. But what that kind of makes it sound like to me, lads, is new manager preset custom tactics. I mean, that makes it sound like when you hire Mourinho or when you hire Guardiola as the manager at the bottom, that it, he comes with set custom tactics and you can use those or you can change them. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I like that. I think that EA should just make it where you don't do your custom tactics. Whatever the manager is, whatever the manager comes with is what the team should play as. So if you hire Pep Guardiola, which would be really expensive on the market, then if you have Pep Guardiola, he comes with Tiki Taka play style and that should be the play style that the team has. Um, and that should be your custom tactics. So maybe your players are not on comeback on defense because they're very aggressive. Um, and then if you hire someone like Conte, maybe it's like a five back and it's more defensive. And then that way it gives more value to managers. Um, I personally think that would be a really good thing for Ultimate Team because like, it wouldn't be your custom tactics. It would be the tactics of the manager you hire. I personally like that. I think that would be sick. Hopefully that's what that means. New manager pre uh, preset custom tactics because I think the game should be less about custom tactics and more about the ability of you on your stick. You know, I think FIFA's way or FC, the FC right now is way too much on, you know, uh, people uh, depending on their custom tactics rather than their ability to play the game. And I really think that that is something that could really value and help the game. So if EA Sports are actually going to manage your preset custom tactics, that would be fire. I know a lot of people not want that, but I think it would open up the game a lot better. And I think that it, it, it would change things. You know what I'm saying? I think it would be a lot really fun in my opinion um so everything i'm reading lads looks pretty good squad menu revamping that's cool i don't really care for it. i think the squad menu is not bad um but i ain't mad at that manual through ball is kind of scary but we'll see how that goes and um look it's all exciting news we have a lot of different football games coming so for me these leaks are an absolute w shout out to the homies that leaked this uh, if they're real we might have uh, some cool features coming, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this, lads. It's been your boy, Double A9 Skills, FC25. I mean, for it to be worse than FC24, they really got to absolutely mess this up. And I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Anyways, I love you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Booyah, we out of here, baby.